I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the star card, and it's with the fool. Now, the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have in a while, more confident, more confident that your needs, whether it's emotional or financial, they're being met. Just know nothing can be taken for granted. But, it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This can also be a spiritual card. And you could find yourself feeling, at least for a time, at one with all of creation. It's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. Now, it's with the Fool card, which is, which is an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We all know that children, their trusting, and trust forms the meaning for this card. So, this is usually considered a positive card in the deck. But, it could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see in the picture, he's not. Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But doing so without any thought whatsoever, yeah, it can be a big mistake. Because as you can see, he's the full card is the card below the word pass. He's ready to take a leap of faith towards something and he's not looking where he's going. And what's below him is all blue water. It looks like it could be the Atlantic Ocean, maybe Pacific Ocean, and bam, there he goes. So, your recent past energy between you and your person, we got the star clarified by this fool. So, what I'm getting is that, um, yeah, you with someone, you're probably still with them. I'm getting that a lot of you still are with this person because this person, whoever they are, they make you feel fabulous. When you're with this person, you feel like you have a lot of hope. It feels great. You feel like miracles could happen. You feel like you're in the spotlight when you're with this person. They make you feel rejuvenated hopeful about the future, they give you a lot of faith, any grief that you had about your past, all that's gone when you're with this person. They make you feel like a star. And so when you met this person or whenever you're with them, you just feel like jumping right on in. Yeah. Taking a leap, just going for it without, it, without any thought whatsoever. Yeah, this person makes you feel wonderful. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got this Nine of Swords, and it's with the Strength card. Now the Nine of Swords is showing there's a need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at the at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it or if things or the people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. There could be something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more, bigger, or just different than it is. So, try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. Now, as with the strength card, with this card, it's important to take time to meditate, contemplate, maybe even spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you've got 19 kids. 
Don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear, because the outward things will be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer any fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Yeah, so coming up, Nine of Swords, clarified by the Strength card. It is showing that something could be troubling you. And because it's with the Strength card, for a lot of you, it's not with the relationship. It's not with the person, but it's with you. Something's troubling you about you. Because the strength card is actually about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect, acceptance, compassion. It's about being, being the best you, conquering your fears, being stronger as a person. Yeah. For some of you, you could, just, a, I'm going to say very few, for just a few of you, you could feel like um, you're starting to have some anxiety um, that the, re the relationship is not as strong as you would like for it to. That's just for a few. But for most of you, You've got some issues going on with yourself. Maybe some insecurities. This is for most of you. The relationship, it looks good. You love the way this person makes you feel. You might, for some of you, you might be leaning on this person too much to make you feel great all the time. When we should have, um, when that's really our responsibility to make ourselves feel fabulous and great. So that could be why you love just jumping right on in and being with this person all the time, maybe. You like the way they make you feel. It's kind of like a codependent, maybe. Codependency. Something like that. Not for all of you. But let me say this. Because, it's, because the anxiety card is with the strength card, some of you, you got some issues with yourself. Could be some insecurities. And it's causing you anxiety because you're with someone that you really like and you could want a new beginning with. If you don't have that already. Because everything feels wonderful with this person. But some, you got some insecurities. That could get in your way because the nine of swords is showing that it's causing your insecurities are causing you some anxiety nightmares and um, you could start to feel like something's troubling you with the relationship when there really aren't any problems there's some type of anxiety for some of you you're just naturally inclined to have anxieties yeah, some people just are born with anxiety. So maybe you feel like it's going to get in the way. Something's going on here with with a lot of you Virgos. You got something great going on with your person, but you're starting to mm, get yourself in the way. You're starting to let yourself get in the way. And you know it, you feel it. It's about to happen, which can ruin a relationship. So let's see what the challenge is. We got the Eight of Wands, and it's with Temperance. Now, Eight of Wands is showing that there could be some, some things up in the air. You could feel frustrated, tired of waiting. But this card, it indicates you have to be patient a while longer. Maybe you've done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. When you get this card, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things because it could backfire. It could backfire on you. 
Yeah, so speaking metaphorically sometimes, you have to know that our actions, they're all in the wrist, or your action is all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, and now you're just going to have to wait. And now it's with temperance. Temperance. With this card, all your relationships, they could be going quite well. But you might need to look at any deep personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself. And maybe in the relationship and with any goals and aspirations. So, yeah, for some of you, so for some of you Virgos, like I said... You could start to feel like you're about to get in the way of this connection. You've got some anxieties about something. Maybe you're reaching out to someone with this Eight of Wands. Yeah. You're reaching out to someone. Maybe to help you deal with some personal issues that you have. Um, because you want peace of mind with temperance here. You want peace of mind because you feel like you, you're about to lose it with the Nine of Swords here. And you know that this could ruin the relationship. Maybe it ruined the relationship that you had with someone else before. And you feel the cycle is starting all over again. And you're with someone that you really like. You really like this person. You love the way they make you feel. But you feel... You feel this crazy cycle is starting all over again and it could ruin the whole relationship. So you maybe you're reaching out to someone for help to help you put yourself back together. Yeah, this is not gonna be for this reading is not gonna be for everyone. I feel like I'm speaking to just a few specific people out there. A few few specific Virgos out there. Yeah, you could also feel like you need to um, find peace with yourself. Take a look at things that you feel guilty about, any mistakes you feel you've made in your past, and forgive yourself and let it go. Because that's really the only way you can truly make progress in relationships and within, within your life. So yeah, looks like yeah you, you're dealing with some issues you got. And I'm thinking that, well not thinking, but I'm seeing with the Eight of Wands that you could be reaching out for help. Yeah, you don't want to ruin this, this connection that you have with this person. You might have some controlling issues or something, You, but you feel that this... This crazy cycle is about to start all over again. And you don't want that to happen. So it's causing you anxiety. Now let's see what the outcome is. we got the King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles, it speaks about success. Could be with money matters because when you hear the word Pentacles, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. Now when the King of Pentacles appears in a reading, it's actually a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick, but it's the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he stands for actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type. He could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. And if it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is someone who you can, yes, you can believe in and trust absolutely. Now, it's with the Four of Pentacles, which can be a card about holding on really tight to things, people, money, situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles is about anxiety. Here we go again about this anxiety. 
could be about money. Maybe clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. And the key is to try to realize being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is the card below the word outcome. Uh, I guess you can see the de details. If you put your screen on full, you can see the details even better. But this man, he's on all fours. He's got his feet on his money and his hands on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode. If a huge brick fell out of the sky and hit him upside his head, he'd still be in that same position, just clinging on really tight, really firm, as if nothing ever hit him. Yeah, so, yeah, this is, this is an anxiety reading. Yeah, I used to have anxiety when I was younger, like in high school, junior high. So, I know what anxiety is like. So, this could be for someone that, for some, some Virgos that have anxiety. Um, yeah, so... The outcome, King of Pentacles, clarified by this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you really want success with this person, with the King of Pentacles showing up here. Um, you want to be everything that they want in a person. So, it's showing that you, you might end up letting your anxieties get in the way. For some of you, you might start to become really kind of clingy or just holding on too tight. So you might want to just take this as a warning. Take this reading as a warning because you really want success with this person. You love the way they make you feel. You haven't felt this great in a long time. Yeah, so. Looks like. So, you're trying to work on your issues. It looks like help is on the way with the Eight of Wands. Whether you just need to talk to someone. But you know and you realize that your anxiety or whatever issues you have, you know that it's going to get in the way eventually. Yeah, if you don't get help. So, it looks like that's what most of you will be trying to do. Yeah, you really like this person. Like I said, you haven't felt this great in a long time. And you just know you don't want to mess it up. But it looks like, yeah, you got to be careful because with this four of pinnacles showing up here, yeah, that could make you, that could make you cling on in an unhealthy way. That's what it could be indicating. And sometimes people will run from that type of energy. So just, just take this reading as a warning for whoever this resonates, for whichever Virgos this resonate. Like I said, I feel like I'm speaking to just a few specific, uh, few specific Virgos. This is a specific reading, and that it really won't resonate with a lot of you. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates, as you know. Uh, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extent of those reading where, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's gonna pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Please come back and join me for the next Virgo reading just in case this did not resonate. 
maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get my readings, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So take the readings for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.